Hi, it's Jez back again with my Dainty Flowers journal. So um, it's getting nice and chunky. And uh, so what I've done is on the first half of the journal, if we go to the centre, I have put in all the tags and made all the tags for this half of the journal. And I'm just going to repeat for this half. Now, some of the pages... Some of the tags I've already made. Like these ones, I do have a video on making um, six of these tags. And they've got a little pocket in the side. So it's two, two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I didn't like the pattern on the other side. But this side and you know the opposite sides complemented them each other really well so i decorated them and then that is easy to write on and it's the same color as that sheet because that's that's stamping up for you it's all it's all matching so the dies i used here are now um retired um but um that's that's the good thing about when you when you make things and you've got them in your stash then it it makes it easier and then i've just punched that with a retired uh, punch and that's just going to dress the pocket there um, so that's in there ready um, to go there so I've got another one of those tags in there like that one with the um, sort of sunflowers I thought it went with the with the yellow that we've got there and that one's like bent back like that so I thought they went really nicely and um, I've got a little dragonfly there and this has just arrived I've just had an order arrive and um, in the new mini catalogue, we've got some dragonfly trinkets. And um, the, uh, and I thought, because I remembered I'd use a dragonfly on there. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to use that one on there. But I thought I might dot a few of these around. Not too many, because I don't want to add too much bulk. But just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, I might... I mean, they're very bright silver, so I'll probably colour them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've got 20. Shame there's not a hole in them, so I can't use them as daggle. They have to they have to be stuck on. But, yeah. So, that's that. So, right. So, we'll just, we'll just um, start. So, um, let's do this. So, I've got the things ready. So um, this is, you could use any sort of border punch or if you've got a die that cuts borders. I just think they finish off, um, they finish off a pocket really, really um, well. So I'm just going to um, go to about there. Oh, a little bit of glue problem there, all sorted now. I haven't crafted for three days. It's very, uh, very unlike me, but we were being very busy. Went away. So, yeah. Just getting back into it and I thought, oh, where was I with this journal? Thought I need to, uh, need to get it finished. I'm glad I've done all the thinking in terms of the tags. Because that, that takes time. So, I like to put it on. with the sort of scalloped edge next to the edge. Just like the way that that looks. And yeah, and then I just go on the other side and snip. There we go. I do like border punches because you can make it any length. I mean, I've got dies, but none of them that length. So that's that done. 
So now then, moving on through, we get to this one. So I kind of matched up with, with the pocket. So although this isn't pink, I think it will go well with that. And I might use a bit of this or something else. I've cut up some little things that I can put there. So um, I was left with a strip. If you want measurements, I will give you some. So I was left with a strip here, two inches, yeah, because I had a four inch strip that just cut in half. So that's two inches wide. This is two and an eighth. Yeah, I just went for a, I went for a much smaller margin on this one. So this will be two and a quarter. No, it's two and a half. So I obviously just... This was meant to be two and a quarter and it's just gone slightly under. Don't really matter. So, yeah. I've actually gone seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. This is eight. So if this is seven and a quarter, this will be seven. Yeah. I wanted to just add a little bit of um, stamping to this i like the way the um the tea bubbled i thought that was quite a nice touch so i've got my little um sort of ledger paper there from a ranunculus romance just gonna get a scrap of paper here that i am gonna stamp on uh i put some all the way around this layer first just so that it's uh, got a little something on the outside of it. And then with the ink that's on there, I'm just going to put a couple of bits like that. And I think we might just do a bit down the bottom there just like that and then of course we ink around um, but we will use my fancy corner punch um, on this oh we'll we'll put this in first so by pulling it for the middle I'm gonna do this with the different top than the other one's got just so you can see the difference if I show you with that behind you can see the difference that the that the tops look like which which is cool so I'm just going to take some soft suede I'm just going to put some stamping on the back. There should hopefully be a bit of ink still left on this. Yeah. That's it. That'll do. Just give a little hint of something. So they're going to get layered up. And then I have used my different dies to cut some little decorative bits I think that will go on there quite nicely and I've got some words so I've got all these words that were a freebie um, that um, I thought looked quite good so I did imagine and explore there um, oh I've got appreciate and gratitude why not why not try that, Jez? So, well, got that one. So, just gonna cut down there. Hmm. 
might take them a little bit smaller. So a bit of a slant. Might snip a bit more off that one actually. Don't think it's quite close enough. There we are. So just a little bit of on that fresh cut edge there and on the ends. Put it on that side, I think. So. Cut you off there. Is that going to be enough to do both? I think it will. I'm hoping like. There we go. So, put that there. And that one. Down on there. Yep, I think that works really well. So, let's get them glued down. I'll just put a bit of inking there on the end there. We've got a bit of a white core. And we don't want to see that. So I'm going to put a bit of glue along there. It's cool. So that's just pattern paper that I've used there that is rich raspberry. So it all matches. And that's the colour on here. I do like a little bit of matchy matchy. And because the it's because the strip wasn't sort of wide enough to do a tag on itself, that's why I've gone for layering it up so I can have a wider tag. And then we need some ribbon on the top. And I've got this, um, this ribbon, which is quite old. I can't remember when this was around in the Stampin' Up! catalogue, but it were a while ago. And it wasn't my favourite ribbon for using with card making, but I really like it in my journals. And of course, because it's white, it's easy to colour. So that just needs a little bit of soft suede on there to turn it a bit vintage. And then that will go perfect, I think. And there we have it. So that's that one. To go in there. Now, you might remember um, when I did this Edith Holden page. Um, I turned the under edge of this up and I've stuck the pocket to it. I wouldn't do that. If I did it again, I wouldn't do that. I would um, cut that, cut that lip off because you do sometimes get caught on it. So um, it would go in smoother if that little lip weren't there. So that's that one. So that's what it will look like there. So I quite like that. We've got the pink matching there. And we've got the rich raspberry picked out. So moving on, we have this pocket here to do. Um, not a lot to do on that. Another little, um, another little um, edging there. And then I cut out um, another little tag. I didn't have any of that paper left to do it in that, so I just did it in mossy meadow. 
and then I cut the little reinforcer out of the scrap I had to go along there. And then I have got some words ready. So I might put thoughts on that one. Yep, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get this stuck down. So I'll tell you what, having it almost the same on this side as the other side, it, um, I think it helps with the continuity of the journal. And um, it's only after thinking, isn't it? Only after thinking. So I'm really glad I found a project for, for these tags that I'd made before. Um, I did make them ages ago. I do have a video um, on that, which if I remember, I will link down below. So these are the tailor-made tags. So they're, they're these, they're, they're four different sizes. This is the smallest and um, they've even got a, a die for the whole reinforcers as well, which is brilliant. So it is much quicker. Once you know what you're doing, easily get everything prepped. Um, stuck down. That's actually old olive, not mossy meadow. So maybe an old olive would be better, but actually it picks out all the dark. So I quite like it. What I might do though is swap these tags because that's got the dark top there and that one's lighter. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. So moving on, moving on. All right, so I've got this map page. I'm now thinking, looks too clean. Just want to wink it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's better, I think. So then we've got our doily, we've got that bit. So then we've got this page here that needs doing. So I'm going to worry about the pocket in a minute. Let's just concentrate on the tag. Move that out of the way. So, so it is being printed slightly smaller. I printed it once and it was bigger. And then I reduced it in size and I reduced it more. Not that it actually matters at all. And it is glued onto um, coffee dyed paper. I thought I had the bit of coffee dyed paper. I did. No? No, that's the page, Jez. Definitely got a piece out ready. So this is just one of the offcuts. Uh, when I was putting the pages together, it's 120 GSM. This, this is just ordinary copy of paper, I think, that I did it on. Bun steak. There you go. So I'm going to Stick that on there. So I'm just going to use Collar. That will thicken it up a bit as well. Um, because that's what happens with this glue. It's just one of the reasons why I like it for this job. So I'll try to get it on the bottom. And on the edge so I only have to cut only have to cut two sides so this is the outside because it's got a nice pattern on it from the tea stainer so spread out there I'm 
just do a little bit of mopping up. I can, oh, I can feel where the glue's oozed a tad. There we go. And I will chop it. And then I'll just cut these corners. Like so. Give it all a nice ink round. And there we go. So we want a bit of inking on it. So I have used that big flower on it under there i'm going to do this the other way around so i'm going to put that that way i'd already stamped it on there when i realized that this one arced the other way so i actually um stuck it down backwards but i'm going to do this one the way that um the side that i had intended so i'm going to stamp on that side so i am stamping in rich razzleberry On there, there is a little bit of detail on on this tag, which I which I really like. There we go, and I might put a bit on that side. There we go. Stamp my desk. Don't really want to do that. And then I'm going to do some spots and things on this side with my soft suede. Just put a few age spots on there. So I'm using my date, Dainty Flowers. No, Dainty Delight is the uh, stamp set in it. And die set. Um, with this. That's wet jazz. Yeah, so it's continuity all the way through um, with that. So I want to give this a bit of colour. So we'll use a blending brush just on this a little bit. There we go. So that would be nicely on there. So then I'm going to cut um my little my little panel um so i've got i've got this here and i've got this bit here and i quite like that with the pink on it there so i'm going to cut myself let's cut this to matte Tiny, tiny border around. There we go. I think that will that look cool. And then I've got this for the end there. Yeah, it is about three quarters. So if I cut this to one and a half, that can then be folded in half. And we've got three quarter inch square to go on the top there that's that so this needs inking around this got ripped whilst i was whilst i was dying it but you know i'm gonna make a feature of it Yeah, so let's start sticking things down. You just stick that on there and then that on the top there.
So there we are. And then I put a little eyelet in there. So I've got my crocodile here. Just eyeball for the sensor. Get yourself an eyelet. And I did, yeah, they come with the backs and I've never really had major success with putting the backs on. Don't have major success with getting them out of my pot either. So, yeah, I kind of... I don't know if this is right or not. So I poke that through there. It was a bit tricky. I had a few failures. But I haven't actually managed that. There, I did it before I put it in, Jess. That's what you did. So there. I sort of put it on there. And I'm double checking. I got the right, I don't even know if I've got the right one in there. So put that around there and then give it a squeeze. So you've got a neater edge on the back. Now I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I kind of like it. So that's what I decided to do. They come with them, they're not a lot of use. So there we go. So I'm going to use this ribbon again. Now I did it with a little tie. So I did this one a little bit different than the one we've just done, because I like a bit of variety. And I've tied it with a bit of twine. So I have this massive ball of twine that I paid 99p for. I like Baker's twine and I thought, oh, that's a nice little substitute here. I don't quite know where the end is. I'm not really that bothered. So I'll take that. There we go. I think that will last me the rest of my crafting life. So just grunge it up a little bit. And the nice thing about it being white is you can change it any colour you want. You can do this with any of your inks or alcohol markers. I do quite a bit with my stamping blends so that they match. I could coloured it rich raspberry if I wanted to, but I didn't. So then we just poke that through. And then I just tie a bow with this. So I like to tie a little knot first. Don't tighten it up, put it round. Um, pull, and then we can do our, do our bow. There we are. So then I fiddle until it's how I like it. Uh -huh. So we'll cut them off a tad. That needs a little bit of glue on it. Stick it down. So then it's about choosing the words that that I want. So oh why not? I love this and I love that. <laughs> I love that idea. So I want the 
I love this to be somewhere so we can still see it. So we can do that. And I love that. Right, so let's finish, put something under the, right, I've got, got a bit of this. So I didn't put anything under that one, but I quite like something under it. So put a bit of this under it. So, yep, like, 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 uh, and of that now, something across, oh, it's not quite long enough, what a shame, it's that one. I think these are the same offcuts, aren't they? So they're not going to quite be long enough, Jess. No. Nope. No is the answer to that. So I've got that. So it could be the same as the other side. I've got a bit of this. So why don't I do that? Don't, I mean, <laughs> they're not on the same page. So it doesn't matter about them matching or not matching. But I quite like that. So... We will do that, Jez. So we we'll go across to there. So that is going to get cut up there. There that is. Nicely, nicely. It isn't straight though, Gems. There we are. So this is an off cut from die cutting these bits, I think. Oh, now I've got a new toy. I had some Christmas money, so treat myself. To a deco edge trimmer. So why don't we deco edge it? I was going to buy myself some layering dies, rectangles that were deco edged. And then I thought for the same price I can buy this. And uh, then this can be any any size I want. So uh, yeah, that's what I decided to do. Found that little home for it. I'm not convinced that it is the best home for it, but loving how that's turning out. Right, so get a bit of this on there. Just going along the top edge because I want to still see the stitching. Yeah, I'm really liking that, the way that's turned out. Not sure how much of that you are seeing. Right, 
Right, and then I thought, looking over here, this hasn't got bits at the bottom, so I'm thinking I might add some. I'm thinking actually I'm going to put that one down there. Under there. Just because it's not standing out and I love the way it's standing out. So that needs a bit of this up there. Would look better if it was like that, but it isn't. So that's just that's just it, Jez. That's just how it's going. Let's put a little bit of that on it. Might just pop it. Just pop it under there. I'm going to put some glue along here because I think that will be easiest. Never stop fiddling. That's a statement. <laughs> Not an order. There we go. So that's another one done. So that looks like that. And that looks like that. Liking that. So then we've just got this is quite easy and simple to do. do. Can't remember if I decorated it. Oh yeah, Tad, look. So we used this punch here on the corners. Just got to remember the flipping with this one. That you're doing it right. So just sticking that on. Level with the edge there. Now I've decorated this, I stamped on vellum and I've got a bit of it left, but I'm not sure that I want to stamp on the vellum um, with the pink because it's green. Get a little bit there, that'll do. So I think I might use that one and I might do it in, uh, do it in Mossy Meadow. So, so this is the tea dyed vellum. There we go. You've got to leave it a little bit longer to dry on vellum. I did. Do a little bit of colouring on on that. So I got my my watercolour brush. So I just just moving the ink around a bit. Colour those leaves a tad. A bit on these brown bits. They probably aren't green in reality, but they'll do for this. There we go. And then in the die set, there's a die that will cut those out. So that one. So when it's dried, I'm going to run it through the die cutter. So I'm just going to give that a minute to dry. Okay, so that's dry. It does take ages for it, for it to dry. And I do end up like blotting it a bit. Um, but that's, that's what we've got. Um, so I might do a little bit 
of inking around the edges. I do like the look of vellum because it, it's, it's a subtle layer that you put on things. So, like that. And then I've just picked out Pure Bliss. Pure Bliss. That's what crafting is. Pure Bliss. And I thought that would that would go on there quite nicely. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on. Now, normally you have to be careful with vellum because the glue shows through. But as this is tea dyed, um, I didn't find this was a particular problem at all. So stick that down. Because it doesn't really matter if there's marks on it because you've got that on the T. So. Oh. I have such difficulty working with little things like this. Going to cut that off under there. Okay. Stick that down. Now on the other one, the other side of it was this paper. So I had to put some two stained paper on the back for journeying on. But this one is this pink, so I actually think you can you can write on that, but I am just gonna stamp on it. And that's that done. That's that done. So whilst I was uh, waiting for it to die, I checked out how long I've been, and it's quite long. Um, I am going to do a little bit of speeding up of different bits. There we go, that goes in there. Um, but what I thought was this tag is put together in the same way as the other tag, similar to this, was done. <laughs> can't find it. Going backwards, Jess. So I am going to get it to this stage um, and then I'm just going to show you how it was decorated. So I'm going to do that off camera. Um, you don't need to see me stick that on because you've already seen one. Um, so then then we're then we're here um, for this. So um, as with the other tag that I had printed on coffee dyed uh, just a copy of paper this needs back in I'm gonna back it onto um, avocado dyed paper quite like that with the splatters so I'll probably stick it on there so you've seen me do that so you don't need to see me do that again um, and this is the ledger sheet this has been printed on 120 so I'm just gonna glue it glue it together and then when it's glued together I'll round I'll round the corners and then we'll decorate so I'll get those to the stage where we're at the finishing touches okay so I've got them all prepped so um, I've done a different die cut on this one from the same set quiet meadow and um, because I felt that this um, die I thought it went quite well with the image there so I've sort of matched the colors up um, so I cut it once and then I cut it out of um, some pattern paper to do the flower bits that does go on there I just can't pick it up <laughs> that's the middle flower. I can't pick that up either um, there we go There, so that's that's how that's going to go. So it needs a little bit of um, distressing. So 
I'm going to use my blending brush. So that's the easiest way to get round these sort of edges, I think. Just want to knock the colour back a little bit. So I made the tag in exactly the same way as I made the other one. And I just did a little bit of stamp in there. On the back, I've used some um, ribbon there that's Mossy Meadow ribbon to match the uh, cardstock and the colour in the paper. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so let's get that stuck on there. I do like it when you get dyes like this where you can like piece different colours onto it. Gonna put glue on that actually. Probably put a bit too much on there. Gonna use my tweezers because I think that'll be easier to place. Yeah, there we go. Bit of oozing there because I did over glue that. Right, let's pick this up with my tweezers. A little bit of glue on there. And just place that. Sort of where I think the middle of the flower-ish would be. There we go. So now I'm just gonna I don't know what was going through my head then. Stick this on. Now I realised the other one I didn't put any word on it but I think I will this one so just sticking that down there so that's going in there so this one has got no word on that, but it has got there. But I'm thinking I might put one on here. Although looking at where it is, I could poke one in there. Not sure. So go for thankful and something underneath that what have I got oh I've got little bits of green perfect so that's that one done and then that's just it's just this middle one left that's the last one to do Everything else is done. Yeah, I stuck that down. Right, so I've done a little bit of prep. So we've got we've got that stuck down and I covered the back. I stuck these this together. So we're going to work on this first because this has got to be left to dry a bit. So this is where I put a bit of napkin on it got my napkin here um but i do want to do a bit of stamping first so i use this gonna stamp in ritz razzleberry and i also put a bit of script in the background um so i got my very facade out 
actually whilst I'm doing that I'm going to stamp it on this as well because I put it in the background of this one as well so let's get the script stamped first so I do cover most of this tag up This one, I'm just going over with what's sort of left on it. Yep, yeah, that'll do for that. And then I'll stamp with this one. I love the way you can get this to sort of curl in. And then we can have a bit coming in that side. Like so, what should I do on the other side? I just a little bit of script, but I'm actually gonna put a bit of this on and then come in with that. So this is for journaling on. There we go. So that's that. So my bit of doily, doily, napkin even. So choose my bit. Uh, of those bits so what I did take so I did cut it all out so I haven't split the doily yet through the layers which is normally what I do first um, I'm going to take that yellow one out I don't want the yellow there we go Gonna stick that on there like so. Take a bit more off here. I mean, most of this because it's a white background, it will it will blend in quite nicely. So that's that. So I'm going to peel it off. Came off really easily when I did it off camera. Of course, it's not going to. Because I'm on camera. Oh, there they are. That's coming off. So it's a three ply. So I've got to take two layers off. There we go. So I'm going to use glue stick. So that is where I want the glue stick. Actually, I might use. That that I've cut off. Give me an idea of where the gluing needs to be. So 
going up there. There we are. So that's that I teared down. I'm going to just snip that off the edge there. And then what I did was I used a bit of matte medium to go over the top. So there we go, a little bit of gel, matte medium. Just going to put a little dot on there. And I'm just going to use my silicone brush. I'm just going to gently put it over the top. And then I kind of hold it in the light so I can see where I 